Thank you so much for being here with me as I finally share with you a painting that I completed in the beginning of this year. I painted half a year on and off and I'm so happy with how it turned out and I think it is kind of a stepping stone for my future art because there is a richness in details and also a magical touch to it, which I absolutely love. I created this painting for my man and actually it came to my mind when I was hugging him, looking into his eyes and really feeling his presence. So normally during the process of painting an artwork, there is always a message. Like, to me paintings aren't just pretty paintings, especially the ones that I just receive in my imagination. They have their own frequency and message because of the colors and symbolism that are encoded within them. It's like a wisdom that I can learn from, an inner understanding that I can live through, kind of a knowing that gets revealed over time, or also right in the beginning of the creative process. In addition, the name of the painting usually just shows up while creating the piece. But actually, this time was different. There wasn't a clear message coming through. A name showed up at the end though, the moment I looked into the lion's eyes. To me, his gaze is radiating honesty, warmth and loyalty. So loyalty really is the key word that stood out to me the most. Still, I hadn't much clarity about the message, so I went to the forest to contemplate, reflect and listen. And I thought about the characteristics of the spirit animal as well as the zodiac sign, as we just had Leo season. So the lion, as the majestic king, really stands for power, leadership, strength, courage and also protection. Leo is a fire element and it's generally about self-confidence, self-expression and creativity. It's about what brings us joy, like heart-tingling joy, and about our inner child. So I'm still in the process of confidently expressing myself, especially my creative side like my persona, my creativity, my thoughts. But on the other hand, I remember very well when I was young, I was quite a confident kid and I openly showed and expressed myself. Well, with friends and people around me, not so much with my family though, but that's a different story. <laughs> Anyways, I just really liked what I liked, you know? It brought me joy and lit me up. I loved to explore my interests and talents and I also shared that openly. But over time I had some experiences with people not liking that and directly or indirectly showing me that. And also people being jealous and rejecting me and this rejection didn't feel good. Of course it didn't. That's why I learned to dim my light, to not be as joyful, to not share myself openly, to stay rather quiet and to not be that outwardly expressive in any way, shape or form. I basically internalized that who I am isn't okay, isn't welcomed. And as a result, I didn't accept and also love myself for who I am. Instead of expressing myself authentically, I did my light and behaved in a different way than who I actually am. 
I said and did things that I didn't really want to and I did less of the things that brought me true heartfelt joy. My thinking and acting weren't aligned to my authentic self, so therefore I betrayed myself because I wasn't true to my inner self. This resulted in being less confident, because really, self-confidence comes down to having trust in self. And you cannot trust yourself when you betray yourself, right? For example, when I actually like something and I say I don't like that, just to be liked by others, I betray myself. And when I betray myself, I have less trust in myself, which leads to having less confidence in who I am and also less self-acceptance, like that it's okay to be who I am, it's good to be the way that I am, it's good to be the person I am, that I welcome myself and I love myself for who I am. And the consequences of that was really failing in nurturing my own inner light, my fire, that thing that lights me up every day and gets me going, the thing that drives me forward and brings me joy and enthusiasm. The joy that comes with, you know, enjoying myself became less. And there was a time when it felt like when I shine my light, I reduce the light of others. <laughs> When in fact, it's the contrary. When I shine my light, I don't take away the light from others. It's like when I light up my candle, there is enough fire to light up all the other candles. So shining my light invites others to shine theirs, which actually fosters being seen, being heard and felt, and in this way connected. And this is needed in order to cultivate a relationship, right? Which really is the point of being alive. Because the basis of everything is relationships, not just to our loved ones, but we also have a relationships with our pet, with nature, with food, with our hobbies, and work, and so on. Lots of people know that feeling of being rejected for what we say, for the way we look, for what we do or the things we did. And it's really that judgment that kind of alters our self-confidence and our authentic expression. And I think especially as artists, we will face that fear of rejection somehow. When we choose that path of being an artist, part of it, like the challenge that comes with it, is, in my opinion, the fear of being judged and rejected. Because when we put our creations out there, when we put ourselves out there, we will get judged because people judge and we might get rejected because not everyone likes our work or our persona or our mentality, our beliefs, the way we are, the way we behave. That's just the way it is and that's totally okay. So being aware of we will be judged anyways kind of takes off some pressure, I think.
So I believe as artists, we have to face that fear of being judged or rejected and do the thing we love anyways, because it is who we are. It is what brings us joy and nourishes our light, our soul. And it's not always easy, of course, but we have to fully step into ourselves and confidently express ourselves. Really, it's not about what others think, rather it's about the joy of creating, the joy of expressing that creative force that lies within us that wants just to flow through us and express itself in a multitude of ways. And you know, there will always be people that resonate with us, with our work and with our message. So I think this understanding really is helpful for confidently stepping into self-expression and self-confidence. Again, self-confidence means to have trust in oneself. I cannot have trust in myself when I betray myself. To me, there is betrayal whenever I don't act like who I truly am. What is true to me. To know who I truly am, I have to be self-aware and self-acceptant and I have to get to know myself over and over again as I also grow and evolve over this lifetime. So it's about showing up for myself and putting myself out there anyways, if it scares me or not. Like really, confidence comes by doing. The more you do the thing you want to do or don't want to do because you feel kind of insecure, the more you practice, the more confident you get. That's just a natural byproduct. Let's come back to the title of this painting, which is Loyalty, and summarize this message. For me, this painting really is about being loyal, which means fidelity and also devotion to another person. But to me, it is more a sense of being loyal to myself, like recognizing the light that is within me, that sparks my individuality, that brings me heartfelt joy, the fire that nurtures my creativity, embracing it and allowing myself to boldly express it, to stand up for it and to actually be and live it. And when I stay true to myself and own my own life-giving light, my soul, I can live in integrity, which is crucial for being honest. And as I previously mentioned, honesty is also one of the qualities that I see when I look into the lion's eyes. So I guess we've come full circle here. Thank you so much for being here and listening. It was such a pleasure talking to you. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts and stories and experiences with self-confidence and self-expression and your own creative flow. So yeah, I'm wishing you all a beautiful day and a beautiful life.